Hello friends, this is Dwight from St. James with our next uh, session of Faith 101. I'd like to entitle this one, Having Faith During Difficult Times. There's a, an old bumper sticker um, sermon that uh, you see around uh, from time to time, and it goes something like this, faith is not faith until it's tested. And testing is a way to discover whether we are uh, all in with God, whether uh, we have made that uh, commitment, holding nothing back uh, to follow him and become a believer and a child of God. And um, that means in easy circumstances and difficult ones, we are a follower no matter what. I'm reminded of the story of Job where... Uh, God is uh, sort of bragging on uh, his uh, prize um, servant, and Satan says, yeah, but he's got like everything he wants and needs. Uh, you send some hardship in his life, and then we'll see what happens. And uh, the same uh, scenario can be true for us. Uh, we uh, are, it's easy to have faith and to um, you know, talk a, a good game when we have no stressors on us and, uh, you know, we're not battling any kind of overwhelming circumstances. And um, when the tests come, it kind of helps us clarify where we are putting our trust. You know, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Uh, I wonder how true we stay to that scripture and follow it and trust no matter what. So um, do we continue to trust God when things are bad? Uh, or do we only go to him as a last resort? Uh, sometimes we will search out uh, solutions to our issues uh, in every place but God. And I wonder um, if we might be more willing, uh, because of our relationship with him, to talk to him first and see what he has to say about the issues that we face and how we should handle them. And uh, as in some previous sessions, we, we talked about the uh, ability to wait on God's answers. Are we willing to do that, or, or are we quick to jump to conclusions that all this is happening to us because God has uh, abandoned us, or he's asleep, or, you know, whatever? Um, you know, our faith should remain strong um, regardless of what is going on. And uh, I think of uh, James, uh, in the book of James in the Bible, and uh, he's quick to say, um, that uh, talk is cheap, uh, basically, that um, uh, don't just listen to the word, but be doers of the word. And um, he also said, I'll show you my faith by my works. And this is regardless of circumstances. So uh, I wonder um, how many of us during this time of uh, quarantine are continuing to maintain our faith uh, filled uh, habits uh, to keep our relationship with God strong. You know, uh, someday, uh, hopefully soon, this uh, global pandemic will be past us. And uh, the thing is, is I always have smaller uh, emergencies and uh, challenges to deal with. So uh, if it wasn't this, it would be, you know, things more personal to my life, not necessarily a global um, you know, occurrence. So I'm always um, fighting challenges of one sort or another. But I think we can learn something from uh, the Hebrew people, the Israelites, as, uh, you know, they were coming up as God's chosen people. They uh, were quick to praise God for his uh, deeds in the past. So this was uh, a way to kind of uh, stir up their memories that God has been active uh, up to, until this point, and God will be faithful in the future. And I think it's a good thing for our families, too, because this is where children get to see faith worked out in their parents' lives and uh, testified to. So word of mouth and 
testifying about all the great things that God has done is, is a way of putting our faith uh, into action even during difficult times. And the promises of the Bible, put, put them to the test, you know, take God to his word. Uh, God is looking for us to be obedient uh, to what we know God expects of us from uh, the scriptures. And um, because uh, we love him, not because, you know, of duty or anything like that, but because of all that he's done for us, we want to be obedient. And, and we know that uh, the things that he tells us in the scriptures are for our good. And so we want to follow those. And we want to maintain a regular time of praying and studying the word and letting God speak to us in, in a very intimate way. And uh, as I said before, uh, patiently waiting for God's answers to come. Uh, that shows great faith in the face of challenging circumstances. I think sometimes I forget that the world doesn't revolve around me, but it actually does revolve around God, and that I need to keep that perspective. Um, when uh, we exercise faith, uh, especially when things aren't going our way, uh, we're going to find ourselves um, coming across the grain culturally. Uh, we're going to stick out in, in ways that maybe we didn't expect, but um, Jesus himself, you know, didn't fit in with culture and uh, was um, not tolerated. And uh, should we expect any less? Actually, the scriptures warn us over and over that, uh, you know, don't be surprised by hardships and times where people are against us, uh, but that Jesus has overcome the world and uh, we hold true to him, we can overcome as well. Uh, if there was anything that uh, I wanted to leave you with, um, it would be to don't let uh, the difficult circumstances that we are going through uh, push us away from God, but let them uh, drive us toward him. I'll, I'll give you an example. When we lost our oldest son, Michael, I had a lot of, um, well, shouting matches, um, with God and trying to figure out, you know, why these things were happening and uh, what's the purpose in it all? What are you trying to teach me and, and all that? And I didn't necessarily, you know, get an answer, you know, written by a plane in the sky or anything like that. But it was just the fact that keeping the communication open, um, I might be screaming, uh, but I was still in the ring with God. And, um, I think uh, in, in some sense, God um, just kind of let me ramble and would uh, uh, shoot those uh, arms around me and pull me in and hold me tightly uh, while I was going through things that uh, I didn't understand. And um, sometimes the circumstances that we face can be just like that. Uh, I don't understand why I can't make the mortgage payment. I don't understand why we got this health diagnosis, uh, I, you know, and the list can go on and on and on. But uh, faith uh, needs to be strong in the midst of challenges as well as in the good times. And we can be like Job, who remained faithful. And through all the things that uh, Satan threw at him, um, he was a believer and trusted in God. And we can too in this time, this day and age. And uh, I just encourage you that uh, we're not always going to have all the answers. But one thing is true. God is good. God loves us. And God will see us through. And we have a place um, set aside for us in glory that God has built for us with his own hands. And he's ready and waiting for all of us. But uh, we have to live in the here and now as well. And, but God is, is present. God is working uh, with us and through us and all around us, and he will help us in the appropriate time. It's all about God's timing, so be patient, wait, and look at what God will do. That's all I have for you today. See you next time. Bye-bye.